and these nails were bent on the ends. I've held in my hands just handfuls of nine inch nails from the crucifixion site. This mm. is in wow. uh, Wyatt's museum when mm. I was helping to uh, yeah. uh, uh, Ron Wyatt to, to build his museum mm. and, and set wow. this up and these rusty old nails and he said that this is what he was able to bring back from the crucifixion site in the excavation site. Wow. And these nails were bent on the ends mm bent on the ends because uh, as they nailed them through the, yeah. the wrist and through the feet of the people, then they would bend them over with the hammers, bend them over, mm -hmm. so they're literally bent right, nails right. that could be and you the can same as right. the, the keys. Right, and you could actually go to the Israel Museum and there's the, uh, this is the only time it's ever been found in archeology. span They found an ankle bone with a nail through it at a place called Givata Mivtar, it's at the Israel Museum. It's not from Yeshua, it's from no. a man whose name was Chag Kol. We don't know much about him, but we know he was crucified. And you see there the exact same thing. The nail is bent on the end so that this guy Chag Kol wouldn't pull his, <laughs> wouldn't pull his leg out, right? He's stuck in, 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 the, in, the, in the cross. Um, and it's actually the only other example we know from archaeology of a person being cru crucified with nails, but there it is, some you know, poor innocent Jew who was you know, murdered by the Romans, crucified. Be sure to watch the full episode of Shabbat Night Live this Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. See you then.